Have you ever wondered why some raindrops splash into tiny droplets while others spread out like a pancake? Or why some bubbles are small and delicate while others grow big and tough? The answer lies in a fascinating scientific concept called the Weber number, or WE for short. The Weber number is like a special code that helps us understand how fluids behave. It tells us whether the fluid will break apart into droplets or stay together as a single blob. It's a bit like a tug of war between different forces acting on the fluid. Imagine you're throwing a ball. The harder you throw, the faster it goes, right? That's because of inertia, the tendency of an object to keep moving in a straight line at a constant speed unless a force acts on it. Fluids have inertia too. When a fluid moves quickly, its inertia wants to keep it moving in that direction. Think about a jet of water from a hose. It travels a certain distance before breaking up into droplets. The faster the water flows, the farther it travels before breaking apart. Now, imagine tiny water droplets clinging to a spider web after the rain. The force that holds these droplets together is called surface tension. It's like an invisible skin on the surface of a liquid that makes it want to minimize its surface area. Surface tension arises from the attraction between the molecules of the liquid. These molecules like to stick together, and they resist anything that tries to pull them apart. This is why water forms spherical droplets. A sphere has the smallest surface area for a given volume. The Weber number is a crucial ratio in fluid dynamics that compares the strength of inertial forces to surface tension forces in a fluid. This comparison helps us understand how different forces interact within the fluid. It's calculated using this formula. We equals rho times V squared times L divided by sigma. This formula might seem complex at first, but breaking it down makes it easier to grasp. Here's what each symbol means. V is the Weber number, with no units. It's a dimensionless number, meaning it has no physical units attached to it. Rho is the density of the fluid, which is how much mass it has in a given volume, measured in kilograms per cubic meter. The density plays a significant role in determining the behavior of the fluid. V is the velocity of the fluid, which is how fast it's moving, measured in meters per second. The speed at which the fluid moves can greatly influence the Weber number. L is the characteristic length scale, a measure of the size of the fluid, such as the diameter of a droplet, measured in meters. This length scale helps in understanding the dimensions involved in the fluid's behavior. Sigma is the surface tension of the fluid, which is how strong the skin of the liquid is, measured in newtons per meter. Surface tension is a critical factor in phenomena like droplet formation and bubble dynamics. Understanding the Weber number is essential for predicting and analyzing fluid behavior in various applications, from industrial processes to natural phenomena. It helps engineers and scientists design better systems and understand the complexities of fluid interactions. A high Weber number, much greater than one, means that inertial forces are dominant. This is a crucial concept in fluid dynamics, where the behavior of fluids can vary dramatically based on these forces. In other words, the fluid's momentum overpowers its surface tension, causing it to break apart into smaller droplets or bubbles. This phenomenon is often observed in various natural and industrial processes. Think of a powerful waterfall crashing into a pool, creating a chaotic spray of water. The high Weber number here results in the water breaking into countless tiny droplets, creating a misty, chaotic scene. On the other hand, a low Weber number, much less than one, indicates that surface tension is in charge. This means that the cohesive forces within the fluid are strong enough to resist breaking apart. The fluid's skin is strong enough to hold it together, preventing it from breaking up easily. This is why certain fluids can form stable shapes and resist external disturbances. That's why small raindrops tend to stay intact while falling, while larger ones break apart. The balance between inertial forces and surface tension determines whether a raindrop will remain whole or fragment into smaller droplets during its descent. The Weber number is especially important in microfluidics, a field that deals with the behavior of tiny amounts of fluids. This dimensionless number helps scientists and engineers understand how fluids will behave when they are broken into small droplets, which is crucial for the precise control required in microfluidic applications. This technology is used in everything from inkjet printers to medical diagnostic devices. The ability to control fluid behavior at such a small scale has revolutionized many industries, making processes more efficient and accurate. For example, inkjet printers use tiny nozzles to precisely control the size of ink droplets. This precision ensures that the printed images are sharp and clear, with vibrant colors and fine details. 
By adjusting the Weber number, engineers can ensure that the ink forms perfectly spherical droplets, resulting in high-quality prints. This meticulous control is what allows for the production of detailed and high-resolution images. In lab-on-a-chip devices, which are used for medical diagnostics and drug discovery, the Weber number helps control the formation and movement of tiny droplets of fluids containing cells, DNA, or other biological materials. These devices can perform multiple tests simultaneously, speeding up the diagnostic process. This allows scientists to perform complex experiments on a miniature scale. The ability to manipulate such small volumes of fluid with high precision opens up new possibilities in research and medical diagnostics, making it possible to conduct experiments that were previously unimaginable. The Weber number is a powerful tool that helps us understand and predict how fluids behave in various situations. By considering the balance between inertial and surface tension forces, we can explain why some droplets splash, others spread, and some bubbles pop while others float. It's a key concept in fluid dynamics, with applications ranging from everyday life to cutting-edge technologies.